Hello students. Under the topic assignment problem, we are now going to learn traveling salesman problem. So what is a traveling salesman problem? A salesman normally must visit a number of cities starting from his headquarters. The distance or time or cost between every pair of cities are assumed to be known. The problem of finding the shortest distance or the minimum time or minimum cost if the salesman starts from his headquarters and passes through each city under his jurisdiction exactly once and returns to the headquarters is called the traveling salesman problem. For example, if A, B, C, D and E are the cities given and if, a, if we consider A to be the headquarters then the traveling salesman when he starts from A he has to visit every other city only once and he has to return back to his headquarters A. So if, for example if he visits city C from A then he has to visit a new city either B, D or E, maybe if I consider it to be D, then he has to sit, uh, visit another new city B or E. So, if I take it to be E, for example, then he has to visit B and then he has to return back to his headquarters A. So, now if you see, uh, the salesperson started from city A and he has visited every other city. And finally, he has reached the city A again. So, this is the criteria for a traveling salesman problem. And the cost of the visit or the time taken to visit or the distance traveled will be evaluated and that has to be optimal, that is minimum. So, this is known as a traveling salesman problem. A traveling salesman problem is also known as traveling salesperson problem. There are two main root conditions for this problem. So these two conditions are known as root conditions. The conditions are the salesman starts from one city and that city is known as headquarters and comes back to that city again. So that is what I showed you here. He started from city A and he came back to city A again. And the second condition is the salesman should go through every city exactly once except the starting city. That is, I showed you here, every city has been traveled only once. So, but we can see that the starting city was repeated once more when he came back to it. So, these are the two root conditions to be now, which is which is very, very importantly necessary for a traveling salesman problem. And going from any city to the same city directly is not allowed. That is going from A to A or from B to B or from C to C. Such things are not allowed. So in that case no assignments should be made along the diagonal line. And second note here is if a salesman has to visit n cities then he will have a total of n minus 1 factorial possible round trips so the number of possible round trips that a salesman will take to visit n cities is n minus 1 factorial ways this may appear in one mark questions so now here we have the steps to solve a traveling salesman problem First of all, what we have to do is we have to assign all the diagonal elements as infinity. That is, assigning an infinitely large element, infinity, in each of the squares along the diagonal line in the cost matrix. So that is the first step. After assigning infinity along the diagonal, we have to solve the problem as a routine assignment problem. So how we used to solve an assignment problem in a similar way we have to solve the problem. So after solving we have to scrutinize the solution obtained 
to see if the root conditions are satisfied. So what are the root conditions? Just now we saw we have to begin from one city which is which will be the headquarters and we have to return back to that same city. And second root condition is the remaining other cities should be visited only once. So these two conditions are satisfied must be satisfied. So that we have to scrutinize. So we have to check for it. So when we check like that if the root conditions are satisfied then we have to calculate the optimal solution that is the solution of the uh, assignment problem becomes the solution of the traveling salesman problem also. If the root condition is not satisfied, then we have to assign the next smallest element instead of zero. That is, check if the root condition is satisfied again. If it is not so, then assign the next higher element. In case there are two smallest elements after zero, we can take one of these arbitrarily and make the assignments. These two steps, I think you may you will understand it better when we solve a problem on traveling salesman. And then continue this process until the root conditions are satisfied and the best solution is attained with minimum increase in the total cost. So these are the steps involved in solving a traveling salesman problem. In our next video, we will be handling a problem in which we will be solving and we will try to attain the optimal solution. In our next video, we will be solving this problem to understand the concept of traveling salesman problem better. Thank you.